We are trying to prove that we are the best football program in Florida. hard work and dedication and commitment to something will bring you success. Without any one of those three things, I don't care what you're doing, whether it's a sport or business or anything else, if you're not willing to work hard and commit yourself to what you're doing, you're not going to be successful. I joined Stanton football the spring of freshman year. Um, freshman year, when I started playing JV. Uh, I joined freshman year at JV and got moved up to varsity freshman year. And I started playing football uh, freshman year, played JV for a year and then got moved up to varsity and I played varsity ever since. Uh, I'd never really gotten to play any sports in middle school and this is my opportunity to finally be a part of something. During orientation, some of the seniors spoke to me about playing football and it just seemed something interesting to do at the time. I always liked football and I always felt like I was good at it so when I came here first thing I did was try to find out what the football team like how they work and stuff. First thing is you spend all weekend studying film you give the kids uh, weight uh, you, uh, the game plan on Monday they lift weights on Monday then they go out and get a game plan that's in shorts. Tuesday and Wednesday we're in full pads and we kind of uh, run into each other a little bit harder uh, working on the game plan. Thursday's a walkthrough and then you usually play on Friday. It's really fun. I love coming out here on the field every day, every Friday playing a game. I love it. As a team we definitely bonded more. Uh, we've been struggling just a little bit. It's been difficult because we've had a whole bunch of injuries. Uh, we were playing Reigns, which wasn't supposed to happen that week. I wound up playing offensive line again because of the injuries that we had. So when that happened, I kind of, the play was over, I got pushed from the side, and when I came down, my foot kind of got caught in a weird position and broke my fibula. The two teams that we, the two games rather that we won, we had our team intact. Observing the season's been really fun. I've got to see a lot of the guys that have just kind of started to grow. We weren't really playing much as a team because a lot of the players are new and we lost a lot of seniors who were the leaders of the team. But as we got it together, it kind of snowballed and I hope things just go get better. We just continue to improve. Um, we might have had a little bit of an underwhelming season, but we beat Paxson and that was one of our biggest goals. So I'd say we're happy with that. Now, the Paxson game was amazing. Before the game, both sides were both just talking absolute trash about each other. And to come out here and instead of talk and show action, it was great. It was amazing. So many people came out. Uh, we did great. Uh, we dominated the whole game. I think we played a great game. Defense really stepped it up. Offense put points on the board. We won by 10, 11. Can't ask for anything else. It's fun. Three years in a row. All the guys wanted to wear the three-peat shirts. Paxton might as well just sign up and play someone else. They just, I think they've just resigned themselves to their fate of losing to us. Uh, coach is a great coach, great guy. Um, takes it so seriously, puts us in the best opportunity to win every week. I mean, he's a great coach. Coach, he's on understanding. He puts people in a position they think they're good at. He notices when things are going wrong, it changes it up. It's amazing. Uh, he knows, he's been in the football program for a long time now, uh, and it's just great to have a coach that has a lot of experience. I love Coach Ely. He's been one of my favorite coaches I've ever had. Been through many coaches, and he's been one of my favorite. He's really helped me grow as a person, as a football player, and I'm very grateful for the time I spent with him. We've been able to become very competitive here. And I, I enjoy the kids there. You know, most of them have great character and they're intelligent. And it's, it's a lot of fun. But it's kind of been my life for all of high school. Fortunately, when I hurt my leg, kind of ended my season a little early. But I wouldn't trade it for anything. You've been through thick and thin together, and I think we got it. It kind of gives you a, a little bit extra sense of purpose when you get to practice and know that you only have a couple left, and you got to give it everything you got. Definitely nostalgic, you know, it makes you think about what you're doing every day in practice. How it might be the last time you do it, but, you know, it's, it's been a good run. You know, these guys are my brothers, and I'm going to remember these guys for the rest of my life, so I really plan on remembering all of this.